now just start with, with you, Pierre. Once again, thank you very much for, for being with us. Uh, Lausanne Olympic Capital and the Canton Vaux is very well known abroad and very specifically in this international sports world, but I'm not sure that you have had the opportunity to meet our participants already. So first, could you just introduce yourself briefly and say a few words about your organization? Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Pierre-André Gremaud. I'm the marketing director, uh, marketing communication director of Vaux Promotion. Vo Promotion is the marketing agency, promotion agency of the canton of uh, Vaux. So uh, our mission is to promote uh, different sectors uh, of the canton of Vaux, naming especially tourism, uh, culture, uh, sports, uh, gastronomy, uh, local products and so on. So it's a, it's a really a multi-sectoral approach we are taking uh, now, before we were more oriented to tourism, and now we broaden our uh, our uh, mission. Um, the thing is that tourism is very important, as said. Uh, so we really also go from the principle that when people come into our region, they will also uh, be confronted with culture, they will be confronted with sports, and that we really can benefit of uh, multiple synergies uh, in order to promote our beautiful region. So that is our mission. Thank you. I know that you bring with you also a short video in order to introduce the Canton Vaux and to present it to the participants. Yes. Shall we watch it? Please, yeah, let's do so. Lucky we are to live in this beautiful Canton Vaux and of course we are looking forward to welcoming back all of you to Lausanne Olympic Capital very soon. As you mentioned, Pierre-André, one of the, the goals of your association is the promotion of the Canton but also to attract tourism. So could you maybe explain to us a little bit more how the pandemic uh, has impacted the, the tourism sector here in Switzerland and more specifically in the Canton Vaux? Yes, so there was actually, I think, like... Uh, anywhere else uh, in the world, uh, dramatic, uh, dramatic impact on the overnight stays on tourism in Switzerland. We've seen our overnight stays uh, decrease by 40% uh, in average uh, in Switzerland. And uh, here in the canton of Vaux, we were a little bit uh, above average, 48% last year. Uh, but this is also due to the cities that suffered quite heavily. Uh, we also, with Lausanne and Montreux, they are very much also um, oriented on mice tourism. So uh, the mice sector has seen a really dram a dramatic decrease. And uh, actually in the mountains, the mountain areas, they uh, supported the crisis rather well. They, some of them have seen even an increase in overnight stays, especially from the 
uh, national from from domestic tourism. So, uh, the Swiss uh, tourists stayed in Switzerland, as they did probably also elsewhere in other countries. Mm -hmm. And now maybe a few words about your plan for the future and how do you intend to recover from the, the pandemic? What are, the, what are, what are the, 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 the key assets of the Canton Vaux in order to build the future? So uh, actually, as, as seen also in the, in the video, we have really a multifaceted uh, countryside. So we have all three natural regions of Switzerland. We have the Alps with glaciers. We have lakes, we have the plateau and we have the Jura mountain. So this is a perfect playground also to de develop sustainable tourism, so to reinforce this one. And uh, uh, we also work in this respect with Switzerland tourism to t develop really sust sustainability factor through Switzerland and also in our region called sustainable. Um, then also we will uh, focus uh, more on the domestic market. As I said before, we really have seen that uh, Swiss, we still have a big potential also in the Swiss German part uh, because we have different languages, national languages here in, in, Canton, uh, in, in Switzerland. So we'll focus also more uh, in a domestic market and also on local products. So we will also, this again in sustainability factor, uh, we will focus also more on local products, con uh, reinforce the consumption of local products um, and um, also in the sports we're speaking here today about sports so uh, sport will also be uh, a, a theme so also develop more the cycling we have beautiful uh, roads we have beautiful mountains where also everything with mountain biking and road cycling can be developed uh, further Thank you. Thank you very much for your insight. You stay with us because you will be co-moderating this session also uh, to discuss with our other panelists just in, in, in a few minutes.